Hello, my angels. So we have another Temu unboxing. I'm really sick today, so I'm trying to make myself feel better by putting on makeup and trying to look cute and doing a, a video. <laughs> so bear with me if I sniffle, but try to make it work. So these are mostly kitchen and fashion items, um, accessories, not clothing. I do have a plus size uh, video coming soon. It's five pieces because that's what all I could get with the collaboration that I did with Temu. But that is coming if you're into fashion and you want to actually see clothes. But for now, this is 19 items that I purchased myself for $38. Yes. There was actually another item that was $15. So I bought all this stuff and then I got a, a coupon that like gave off, gave me a certain amount off. And then um, I think it was like $10 or $15 if I spent, you know, a certain amount. And then... I don't know how this item got in my cart, but I, the bucket, that looks like the bucket by Marc Jacobs. I'm not a big fan of the tote bag and the bucket and those things. I'm just not. And so I took it out of my cart and it ended up being $38 for 19 items. And I was like, I'll take it. So let's get into it. Right off the bat, it's this hair thing. If you guys have curly hair, this is your savior. I actually bought a bunch of them because on Amazon, I had purchased two of them for like 10 or $15. And I think, I mean, obviously it was $8 for four of them if you do the math and everything's like $2 now with the way that it, you know, the, the dollar cost average. So I bought a couple of these. I'm going to take these out. I do like these a lot. So what I do is the only way I was able to get my curl pattern, if you guys have curly hair, um, and develop a curl pattern, mind you, my hair is like all messy because I'm sick and I wasn't, I was like literally in bed coughing and sneezing like two seconds ago. Um is that I didn't wash my hair every day. I washed my hair once a week. So the only way I was able to do that is every night I put my hair in a pineapple bun. I just put it like, put it up and then I, I put the uh, scrunchie on one time. I didn't double up because then it would leave a mark. So it was like a very loose pineapple on the top of my head. And then in the morning I would wake up and spritz my hair with this water bottle. I have the bigger one, but same thing. Um, and then I would just add conditioner or uh, you know, I use WEN, W-E-N by Chaz Dean. A lot of people don't like it. It does make your hair fall out if you use the mint, the, like the one that has menthol in it. But I use the seasonal sunset don't. And then I would just put like, you know, one or two pumps, put it in my hair and keep it moving. And then it would redefine my curls. And it took about a month of me doing that before my curls started getting definition. And then my hair has been fine ever since. And it, it took me almost eight years to figure that out. Nobody had made a YouTube on video, uh, a video on YouTube to help me with that. So here, I don't know why I bought this. It looked bigger and better in the video, in the video, in the thing, in the advertisement. How do you open it? I'm looking for that little slot. Anyways, it's like a pasta strainer for rice. So basically you put it in here. And then you go like this and it strains all the water out without it falling out. I feel like these holes should have been all the way over here. I mean, yeah, I get it. But I feel like it should have been all the way over here. Because maybe if you do this, some might fall out. So it's cool. It's small. It's about the size of my head. I have a very big head. I'm six feet tall. So think like the size of like maybe a hockey mask. It's okay. It's just not for a lot of food. You know, excuse my chair. It makes a lot of noise whenever I move. Okay, let me tell you something. I made a video a while ago about those ice trays, right? And they, they were the round ones, but they were hard. Don't buy the hard ones. It is so hard to get the ice out. You have to get the silicone mushy ones because then you could pop the ice out. So don't be deceived by Tembo and the cheap price because I bought the one that had the four big circles and I have to use a chopstick to push the circle out. Thank God I had a chopstick. If I didn't have a chopstick, how else would I get that piece of ice out? It was hard. You know, so from now on, if you're going to buy these, these weird shaped kind of ice trays, make sure they're silicone so you could just pop them out. You could just push them out. That was a learning lesson right there. Um, so now I have these ice trays that they don't work as well as I want them to. And I spent money on them and it's already too late to do a return. So I'm warning all of you. And I have to put that in my video. Um, I bought two of them. 
in my video of the Temu. So I, I posted a video already, or it's coming, of the Temu things that work and that don't work. So I'm going to make another one of like my Temu faves and then the Temu things that don't work. And that ice tray, any ice tray that's just solid isn't going to work if it's round or square because you need to be able to push the ice out, but there's no way to push the ice out. So wherever the hole is where you put the water, you have to kind of push through that. So fair warning on that. Um, if, if you've never used Temu, please use my code that's in the description box. I get $5 credit whenever you use it, which allows me then to buy more stuff to make more videos. Um, and that helps a lot, you know? Um, so please use my code below. You're gonna get 30% off your first order. And hopefully you enjoy some of the things that I show you. You can binge watch all my Temu videos. I always put links in the description box so that you can actually order the item. You don't have to go looking for it. This, this is supposed to go around like that the spout and then hold your um, sponges and it has holes on the bottom so I have the ones that have the little suction cup but they keep falling down and it's annoying so I was like let me try this I'm not a big fan I mean you also have it this way which I think is weird but it's good it's gonna be like that so you need this if you don't like the green you could take this off and make it gray I don't know what you would use the other part for, but that's a possibility. So I just thought that would work a little bit better for me because every time I come back to the sink, the one with the suction cup that I bought at the Dollar Tree, it stays on for a little while, but then it starts to fall off after a while. So I'm hoping this will last a little bit longer. And then it looks like it's dishwasher safe because I always put it back in the dishwasher to disinfect it because I feel like it's just going to recontaminate your sponges because there's bacteria and germs on it. People don't think about that. These are to make omelets, but like fun-shaped omelets. I'm so excited. So, I mean like sunny side up eggs almost. So, I don't know what this little hole is for. Maybe to get it out. I guess you would stand it up. Yeah, you would stand it up so you could pull it off. And there's a heart-shaped one. There's a circle one. There's a teddy bear one. You have a flower one. And a star. So I'm going to use this. I think you would just put one egg in here, maybe two. I'm going to use this just to make my day a little brighter. <laughs> I mean, like, who doesn't want some fun-shaped eggs? I don't know. I have a mommy vibe coming on. Like, I don't know if if I get the money, because I want to adopt, but I can't afford to adopt because I don't make enough money. But if everything works out with the social influencer stuff and I can afford to actually adopt, I'm going to be the best mom ever. <laughs> Well, not ever, but I'll be one of them, you know. Um, so these are earrings. This is fashion. We're just going to go all over the place. And these kind of remind me of like a Christian Dior style. They look so pretty in the picture. They look a little cheaper now in person. You see that? You'll see what it looks like in the picture when you click the link. I mean, it's not completely horrible. And what happens is you put this through your ear and then this works as like the back and it connects like that. Let me see. I'll take this one off. I might be giving away my necklace. I haven't decided yet. The one that I always wear with the H. Um, it fell off and they say that when it falls off, that's like, you know, the universe saying your time is done with that necklace. Either pass it on or, or give it away. So, uh oh, wait. It doesn't feel like it's in all the way. It doesn't feel secure. I mean, is that it? Is that? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that feels secure. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Let me get. Let me get a little closer. And this is what it looks like on the ear. If you were just to wear it and walk around and be like, hi, everybody. I mean, it kind of looks cute with the hat, too. If I had, like, a really nice blue dress or any dress. I have an orange dress, too. And Christian Dior is very infamous for creating this style where you have, like, a big pearl at the end. See, it bent it. 
You have to be very careful. It's really hard to pit in. I mean, I've had these earrings, earrings like this before. They are a bit cumbersome to put on. It's really better if you have somebody help you. Um, I always bend the posts for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to wear these in the summer. I don't know. These feel very bohemian to me. It kind of reminds me of like a Tory Burch kind of vibe. Uh, Oliphant is another one that has really nice jewelry. Um, like, you know, uh, Centauri. Antica Centauri. Okay. So this, because we don't have a strainer for the sink. I'm hoping this is the length of my sink. It would be nice to wash our dishes and put it in something. So I got this one, and it's supposed to expand. So it, it expands. So I we don't really wash dishes because we have a dishwasher, but when the dishwasher is full and nobody's put it away, then we'll go ahead and use... Oh, my blush didn't blend very well on that side. We'll go ahead and have this to hold that. So I, I thought that was cool. And you could also use this as a strainer. I think you could probably use this as a pasta strainer too. But... Bacteria wise, not a good idea. Pick one or the other, not both. Then we have, oh, hold up, not yet. Um, I have some things I want to show you, but I'm gonna wait till the end. So, I love mashed potatoes, and I haven't been able to get the consistency. I have one of the ones that you smash with, and I, those are great for smashed potatoes, but I wanted real mashed potatoes the way my aunt used to make them. And this is a mashed potato strainer. And I just went out and I bought, I went out and I had a steak dinner last night um, after work because I had worked my butt off that day and I really wanted something nice. And there's a place that has like a $69 steak dinner special where you get like an appetizer, the entree and a dessert. And it's like a really high quality meal. So I finally got the old school, this was like five bucks the old school mashed potato mash. I've been wanting this for a long time. I don't know where to find it and I don't like the prices on Amazon. So I'm really happy. Yo, this is this right here. Childhood memories of my aunt and my grandmother making mashed potatoes. This right here makes me so extremely happy in this haul. You have no idea. <laughs> so bad. Okay. Yay. Okay. Then we have, okay. Another, another, I did it. I did that, didn't I? I bought two strainers for the sink. I guess, you know what? You know, when one wears out, the other one will work. I'm a bacteria phobe, so I don't keep things for more than like three to eight months, sometimes a year. Because I'm like, no, there's got to be bacteria on it right now. Things that we can't see that are, that are going to recontaminate everything. And no. We gotta, we gotta change it. That guy changes my sponges every month because we don't really use them often. We use them mostly to wash the pots and the pans. Um, so this is the same exact thing, but in metal. So if you want the plastic one, this is bigger. The plastic one fits in here. So if you don't have a, a big sink or you don't have a lot of stuff, get the plastic one. But if you have a big sink and you have more items than most people, and get this this tall one as well and you know what this is good for believe it or not if you have if you take things out of the um well i don't know if it's gonna melt this though if you take like if you have little ramekins and you want to put them on the table as long as it doesn't touch the plastic you should be fine and you could just rest it on here to cool down if you don't have anything else to put it on because ikea used to have stuff like this but it was a big long one in silicone things at the end. And I used to use that to put all my like hot stuff that came out of the oven. This has plastic in the middle. So it would have to be like little ramekins or little, you know, like, like smaller dishes. Um, put it right there. And that helps to like let it cool down if you don't have something like that. And then, so these are my last two items and they're my beauty items. I thought I ordered every color. Interesting. I guess not. I guess I ordered two of the purple. I gotta go look. I don't think I would do that. So these are perfume holders. They come in purple, blue, and red. There was another one. I think it was yellow. I guess I didn't get the yellow. I thought I ordered the yellow, but I didn't. And let's open a purple one because there's two of them. And what you do is I've been ordering a lot of Christian Dior perfumes. And like if you if you 
spend a hundred dollars at Christian Dior, you get a little 0.25 ounce uh, La Preve perfume, but they're open, meaning it's like a dab bottle. And I don't like those dab bottles. I want to spray my perfume because I don't really want to put it on my skin. I want to put it on my clothes and my hair. So, still trying to take the plastic off the end. There you go. So what you do is you turn this thing, right? Chanel has a perfume like this where you turn it, you pull the top up, you're able to pour your perfume in, pour it in, close it, and just drop it back in here. Spray, and then close it. So it's just a really cute way. I have more expensive ones that look better from Amazon. I'll give you those links. These look like faux fur. This one kind of looks like Tiffany. And there's other ones. You can look up perfume atomizer on Temu. They have ones like this, not, not the same quality. It looks like this, but it's not the same. And you just pop it up again. Same thing, same concept. Some people say they leak. Some people say the bottle breaks. I like to spray it twice before I put it back in. Once I refill it, these don't come out. This one doesn't come out either. There was a set on Amazon that are six black ones for like 15 bucks. Everyone says that the top falls out and that they leak. So just be careful if you're searching and you found the black, the black on black ones. It's like a matte black. They're very pretty, but look at the reviews. These have very good reviews, but these are expensive. There's like $30 for six of them, which is $5 each. These were relatively inexpensive. They were like a dollar something. They, they, they feel very different. This feels like Lux, kind of like Safiano faux leather, and it has a silver, which I think will probably last a little longer than this silver. This is already scratched up. I just took it out of the packaging, and look, it's already scratched, and it's made of plastic. So it's very different quality, but it does the same thing. So it just depends on, like, what do you want? You know, what is the look that you're trying to get? I prefer the Lux looks, but every now and then, like, I was going to give these out as gifts. Um... And maybe like to identify a perfume, you know, so that I know that the purple one is this one, the blue one is this one, the pink one is probably going to be like something else, you know. Um, and then I have two that I'm keeping from that set and then two that I already bought. So I have a total of like five and then I would gift one of the purple ones and some other ones. Um, so that's what I was thinking. But this is the one that I wanted to try. So this, this is my last item, you guys. This looks like the Christian Dior addict line and I actually and I'm so upset because I just gave away the lipstick the lip balm hold on let me open this up and each one is in its own individualized box so you can give these out as gifts it says Aludi Beauty which is like beauty with an OL Oh, Ludi Beauty. I mean, I would not give it in this package. It's a very ugly package. Let me put this here on this box. And so let me just open one for you guys. I wanted to see. I'm going to go grab my addict case. I think it would probably f It's such an ugly case. I'd put a sticker over that. Everything else is nice. Let's see if you could rub it out. We'll see if we could rub it out with alcohol because that works sometimes. And then you take it out like the Dior Addict. And it looks like that. And it's like a lip balm. Oh, it smells like watermelon. It smells like some kind of fruit. Like you could smell it. It's pretty. It's just like a balm. It's not going to be anything special. Let me, give me a second. I'm going to go grab my Dior Addict case. I want to see if it fits. And then I'm going to grab the alcohol and a rubbing um, thing to see if we could take this off. Give me a second. Sorry, guys. Please excuse the mess in the back. It's always messy. Oh, and here I go. <laughs> All right. So I have a feeling it's going to fit the lip balm one, but I just gave that one. So this is a Dior Addict case. It fits. <laughs> so if you have the Dior Addict cases 
and you want a lip balm, but you don't want to go out and spend $35 for the refill for the Dior ones, the dupe is you could buy these from Temu and put them in your Dior attic cases. Now, it is a little bit more difficult to take. I pushed this one in too far. Oh, it's stuck in there now. Well, I wouldn't do that then because now it's stuck in there. I'm going to have to get tweezers to take it out. But it did work at first. I just pushed it in too far. Maybe it would work with the lip one. Cause the li no, because the lip, the lip balm one doesn't, how do you say? The lip balm one doesn't even fit in this case. So this one did, but then it got stuck. I mean, this is real life. I can't even, this is what's happening. So let's go get some tweezers. But first let's try to get, this is, this is what I usually carry in my car. I carry a little bottle of makeup, uh, nail polish remover, and then these little kind of pads. And I, I was just refilling them, so I conveniently had them available. And we're going to spray and try to take it off. Oh, it worked! It came right off. So if you don't like those words, which I don't. Oh, let's do, let me show you another one in real life. Where's the box? That was, oh, I got the flavor in my mouth. You could kind of still see the line. Like You could kind of still see that there was writing there. Let's spray it again. Wow. Now it's all gone. Look at that. Let's do another one. Okay. So it is very cheap materials, obviously. So we could throw this one out because I'm not going to give it away in the case. Oh, well, maybe. Let me throw that case out. Let's open up another one. I'll do it in real time for you guys. So this is the Oli Beauty. And then you just wipe. And it comes right off. That's what I was hoping would have happened with the Dior Lip Maximizer. I have to do it again. You have to do two passes to get everything off. Just so you know. But that's it. So now you can walk around with this and people might think you have a Dior special VIP case. And this is the other one. So let's go get the tweezers and compare the two colors. They're just bombs. I'm not a big fan of makeup from China because they have no regulations and you don't know what you're getting. And But there's hundreds of thousands of people that really don't care. <laughs> Millions of people, actually. Um, but let's go get the tweezers and see how easy it is to get this out or not. So that you don't make the same mistake that I did because I'm a giant child. I'm always experimenting. It's like Bill Nye the Science Guy and then a diva. <laughs> I'm not a diva. Okay. But I know where everything is in my room, no matter how messy it is. Okay. So, this is what I did. I, it's stuck in here. And we're going to take the tweezer and try to get it out. I think we're going to need pliers. I don't think the tweezers, oh, it's coming out. I don't know, I was like, I don't think the tweezers going to do it. No, we're probably going to need pliers. So don't, I mean, unless you're going to put it in lightly, but then it might fall out. Don't try putting these in your Dior attic case. But you can take the words off. So if you don't like the words and you're okay with wearing makeup from China, um, you have these that look like the Dior attic, but they're not. Yeah, I'm going to work on this. That's what I have for you guys. If you like my vibe, please subscribe. If you like my style, come back for a while. All my videos are different. I do, you know, Temu dupes. I mean, Temu videos, Temu dupes. I actually surf the internet and I show you guys what you could buy on Temu that I think is cool, but I myself might not purchase or I might purchase. Um, I do dupe videos. I do luxury videos. It's just me. I am not one category, niche, or genre. I don't think anybody is. So I share with you every facet of my life. I remember there was one girl that she's like, oh, you're getting too bougie for me. I might not have, I might have, I might have to unsubscribe because I bought some bags from the real real. And I was like, I'm teaching you how to not spend $2,500 on a Fendi bag and only spend 300 to 500. And if that's too bougie for you, then you, you could, you could unsubscribe. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to help people save money, but still have the look. You know what I mean? So 
not every video that I post is going to be for you. But if you're subscribed, I guarantee there will be content on a consistent basis that you will like if you did like the content you subscribe to. Because I do a mixture of luxury, a mixture of affordable things, a mixture of dupes, like just all kinds of stuff. Because that's how I live my life. That's how most people live their lives. Even wealthy people buy dupes, you guys. FYI. Until next time, my loves. And mwah, bye.